Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel World of Software Testing. So in our last lecture uh, we have uh, discussed about the differences between system testing and the system integration testing. In this lecture uh, let's uh, discuss about one more difference between the system test, system integration testing and the UAT which is unit, uh, user acceptance testing. So SIT versus UAT. So, so uh, uh, in our uh, lectures uh, we, are, we are covering the uh, most important differences. So again, uh, these are most of the important uh, interview questions and um, getting asked uh, in the interviews. So you must be prepared uh, before uh, uh, going for the interviews for such uh, uh, differences. So you must be uh, knowing at least uh, four to five differences between each of these um, uh, uh, difference, uh, differences. So let's start with this difference between uh, SIT and UAT. So uh, the SIT versus UAT. So system integration testing uh, refers to the interacting uh, inter uh, interacting between the different modules or the interfacing between the different modules. The UAT uh, focuses on the requirements uh, from the end user's uh, point of view. So this is basically uh, uh, the end user's uh, perspective uh, we are performing the uh, UAT. SIT is done by developers and testers. So both can perform uh, the uh, SIT, developers and testers can perform SIT. The UAT is done by the customers or uh, by the end users. So these are not, uh, the UAT is not done by uh, developers or testers. So these are basically performed by the customers and the end users. The SIT is done uh, after the unit testing and before the system testing. The system integration testing is done after the unit testing and uh, before the system testing so if you know uh, the v model uh, v model you can see uh, the first one is the unit testing uh, then above that uh, is not, nothing but a sit and then here uh, it is system testing and then the uat testing so uh, the uat is done after the system testing and it is the last level of uh, uh, software testing so Generally, uh, the issues uh, found in SIT uh, would be related to the data flow or control flow, etc. And uh, in case of UAT, the issues found in UAT uh, would generally uh, be like the features that are not working as per the user's requirements. Then the next is uh, uh, SIT, uh, the system integration testing uses the test data uh, to uh, simulate the module interactions and the uh, UAT uh, uses the real world scenarios and user user data the end user data in in the sit uh, the functional uh, sanity and regression testing is performed and then in uat uh, there is more concentration on the new changes and the functional testing so let's say uh, we we have multiple re releases right so the release 1 release 2 release 3 release uh, 4 so there will be uh, new functionalities for for every uh, releases so in case of uat we are we are mainly focusing on these uh, new uh, functionalities and um, so more con concentration on such uh, new changes uh, in case of uat the duration for sit is longer than uat so definitely uh, the sit uh, in system integration testing takes longer time uh, than the user acceptance testing and duration for uat is uh, sorry this is uh, shorter the duration for uh, uat is shorter than the sit so it it takes less time so maybe uh, usually a uh, uat takes around uh, maybe uh, 3 to 4 hours and based on the uh, uh, changes, new changes and the functional test uh, are required for that uh, functionality. The SRT approaches are uh, the top down integration approach, the bottom up integration approach, uh, sandwich approach and then big bang uh, approach. And the UAT approaches are alpha testing and beta testing. So these are some of the approaches uh, for UAT and SIT. So we have already covered this um, uh, SIT approaches in our previous lectures. So if you are not watching, you can you can watch them uh, in more detail. So that's it uh, about the SIT versus UAT. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you have uh, enjoyed watching it. Please do subscribe our YouTube channel for such more videos. Thank you so much.